Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Relationship Talk with Sharonda. My name is Sharonda Parker, and I am your host. Y'all, I'm going to entitle this video Barbershop Talk, okay? So, I was not in a barbershop. However, I was in the company of a few men on yesterday. And for whatever reason, a lot of times when men get me in their presence, it's kind of like they just start letting it all hang out. Like they just like, hey, this is what you need to talk about. This is what you need to tell them. This is what your next video needs to be about. Um, so I said, you know what? I'm going to I'm going to put the title on this video, Barbershop Talk. These are the things that a lot of times men will say amongst other men, but they won't say in the presence of women because a lot of times when they start saying certain things in the presence of women, women tend to deflect and start talking about, but y'all do this, 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 and you know, and at the end of the day, when you do that, nothing can get resolved like that. So before I get started with the barbershop talk right now online, there is a bundle called the Black Rose Bundle. And it is $39.99 and you will get a rose except it will be black. I didn't want to bring out my other black one because it's brand new. And this is my tester, but it will look just like this, but it will be a black rose. It would also come with a silver bullet and it will come with a honey pack. Okay. That is online only. Online only. It is not in the store. Okay. I'll talk about the in-store sale in a second when I get to talking about barbershop talk. Okay. All right, so now that I've gotten that off the way with this bundle, I was I was visiting a friend yesterday, and we so happened to be outside. If you know anything about down south, people have porches. And we were sitting outside on his porch, and he lives next door to a fast food place, right? And we were just sitting out there, just really shooting the shit, and we peeped a plate, y'all. We, we peeped the plate. The chick pulled up, jumped out her car, went to her trunk, got her little bag together, her whole bag together, right? And every man that was on that porch said, she is somebody about to come pick her up. Somebody about to come pick her up. And, and I'm like, y'all gather my They was like, she, watch. Somebody about to come pick her up. Y'all, I kid you not, in two minutes, a truck pulled up. She jumped in with her bag and they jumped on the interstate. <laughs> no lie. And at that point, the men started talking. And they were basically saying certain things. Like it was, I, I just, I picked up on so much in such a short amount of time. Um, basically, like, oh, they're going to get a room and she'll be back over here back to her car by 8 o'clock. It's going to look like she done went ahead dinner with her friends and, and whatever, whatever. So, for whatever reason, that that's what sparked up the conversation, okay? In this conversation, I learned um, a lot of times partners are not enthusiastic to fuck their partners at home because sex has become so boring. Meaning, nothing about it is exciting anymore. Now, you know, I was just graced to, to be in a long marriage and we still enjoyed each other in the bedroom. Um, but for me, listening to these men talk, that's not necessarily the case. And a lot of men are not looking forward to having sex with the women that they are with because they have to put in all the work. And, and these men were just speaking so plain like, oh, shit, I'm going to have to do all the work. That ain't nothing to look forward to. So that made me realize, like, you know what? Maybe we got to get a little more active in the bedroom as women, meaning maybe we got to start dominating a little bit and saying what it is that we want in the bedroom and putting men in positions to where we are the ones dominating and in charge. So that's why I brought these two position books, because if you go on the website, then you can actually look at different positions that you can get in. There are pictures to go with it. Um, this is the one that I, this is the one with the pictures. This one has pictures too, but this one has a calorie counter and um different uh if it's below average average above average um what will you need like if you would need a chair or a bench or stool or whatever this one does says all of that but anyway we have both of these position books in the store 
I think every couple should have a position book. The reason why I think every couple should have a position book is because um, there are so many different positions out there. And I find that people typically do the top three, which is missionary, doggy style, and riding. Or some variation in there of the three. Okay? So, get you a position book. I think that will be very, very helpful. Another thing is men enjoy adventure. And I brought this because this is the adventure. Yes. Meaning they want to get out the bed. They don't want to just have sex in the bed. Like when they are dealing with these people on the side, like they basically like, you know, they standing up, they on balconies, they in vehicles, they outside, like they literally just getting it anywhere. Like in other words, they are allowing their animalistic behavior just to just run wild, right? But when they're at home with their significant other, a lot of times they feel like they're tied to the bed. That is what the men are saying when we was having these conversations. They was like, yeah, talk about this here. Because, you know, it's, it's other places you can have sex other than the bed. I agree. I agree. You can, even if you want to still be in the comforts of your home, go in the living room. How about you lay out some shit in front of the fireplace if you have one? Or um, how about you, you know, cre just create something within your home? Um, it's so many, it's so much that you can do or invest in different position aids and stuff like this. So that was another thing that they brought to my attention. They want adventure. Yes. And a lot of times people are trying to bring in other third persons, fourth people, all of this because they're looking for fun and adventure in the bedroom because it's not existing. And the thing is, you're like, oh, he just want to do a threesome. Well, yeah, he does want to do a threesome because he's looking for something more, something fun, more exciting. That's what he's looking for, okay? Another thing that gets me going is a woman that has the, uh, I, I want to use the right words, uh, a woman who knows how to squirt. I'll just make it plain and simple. They love squirters. They love to see it. They love to play in it. They love to taste it. They love just everything about the whole experience of squirting. Men enjoy that. And a lot of women can't do it. If you can't do it, go to my website, download how to squirt today, do your one-on-one -on -one class with me online, and let me teach you how to squirt. Meaning that if certain if, if certain things are being stimulated and it's being stimulated in a certain type of way, your body gonna do what it's gonna do regardless of what you can hold back all you want to, but it's gonna be released. You gonna squirt. Okay, so men love squirters. So that's why I brought these because they love squirters. Lastly, from my understanding, when you first met, you was making sure the panties matched the bra. When you first met, you was making sure you had some nice lingerie. Um, in other words, you was always put together. It was the fantasy. And it was like, you know, glamorous and all of this kind of stuff. But now that you're familiar with each other, all of those things have kind of fallen by the wayside. And the thing is, the fantasy and all of that is what keeps your person interested. And that was one of the things, that was one of my strengths in the marriage. I'm going to be honest. That was one of my strengths is constantly dressing up, lingerie, introducing something new, constantly being the fantasy in the relationship. A lot of times their responsibility is put on us as women, right? So today and tomorrow, if it's in a box, all box lingerie, I know all of it says that it's $49.99 because most box lingerie is $49.99 here in the store. But if it's in a box, it's going to be $19.99. So that means starting today, you can come in and get your box lingerie for $19.99. 99 all different styles yes 1999 it's gonna be on the website too all of the ones this box that's on the website 1999 yes so if it's box lingerie it will be online and in the store 1999 okay so that's gonna pretty much wrap me up here like I said this was just some barbershop talk um, you know, I don't advocate for infidelity at all, but they were even saying how when they're dealing with women who are married, 
They don't want you to remove your wedding ring while you're dealing with them. They want you to keep the wedding rings on and they want you to beat their dick with the wedding ring on and they want they, they want to see their nuts going all over this man ring that didn't put on. I was like, y'all was ridiculous. Like, y'all, like, wow. Like, I, mentally, my mind don't even go there. So to sit there and listen to me and like, like, hell yeah, don't take the ring off, leave the ring on. And I want to see my nut all over his ring. And, it's, and I'm like, oh my God. Like, but again, this was like barbershop talk. These are the things that are said. That's not necessarily politically correct. They're not going to be, it's not going to be politically correct. It's going to be how they feel about the situation. And I'm not saying that it's morally right. I'm not saying any of that. I'm not saying that I'm advocating for it at all. But I'm just saying that these were the type of conversations that were had in my presence on yesterday and I'm wise enough to know how to pick through a conversation and say, you know what? This is some good information. Let me share it. And that's what I'm doing right now. So, you know, add some new positions, add some adventure, add some lingerie. And if you don't know how to squirt, that's just a bonus because men love to see it. And when they have a woman that can squirt, Oh my goodness. Like I said, they love to see it. Okay. Don't forget the bundle is online. We got the rose, the bullet and the honey. All right. You all enjoy the rest of your day. Don't forget to go online to www.dppgstore.com and shop. Uh, make sure you like, share and subscribe.